بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد uh, In previous sessions we spoke about the virtues of ayat al-kursi and the virtues of the last two verses of surah al-baqarah uh, Tonight I want to single out the session for the virtues of surah al-baqarah itself in total and this will be in the series of virtues of surahs and verses of the Qur'an uh, one of the uh, virtues of Surah Al-Baqarah is that it is the best and most honorable Surah in the Qur'an. The Prophet wasallam said, and this is reported by Al-Hakim and classified as authentic by Al-Albani, he said, for everything there is a pinnacle, which is the best, the loftiest, the most honorable. And the pinnacle of the Qur'an is Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, another virtue of this surah is that it intercedes on the day of judgment uh, for the Muslim. And this is reported by uh, Imam Muslim. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, recite the two bright ones, referring to Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran. And he actually stated that. He said Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran. And another narration, the Prophet Sallallahu instead of saying recite, he said learn. And there is an indication the people of knowledge pointed out here in these variations of the narration is that one should not restrict himself to merely recite the letters of these two surahs, but rather learn the meanings of the surah, understand it so he can ponder upon it when he's reciting it. And some added, that it would be even better if one memorizes these two surahs. He said, they will come, for they will come on the day of resurrection like two clouds or two shades or two flocks of birds in ranks. They will be pleading and interceding for those who recite them. On the Day of Judgment, you will need every and any help you can get to reach salvation, to reach that final destination safely. So everything that can contribute to this is something that's worthy of us being keen on doing. And this is one such thing. It is also a source of blessing and it is a protection against magic. The Prophet wasallam said, learn Surah Al-Baqarah or Al-Baqarah for learning it is a source of blessings and abandoning it causes grief and regret and the magicians cannot confront it. In other words, they cannot do something against the person who has this memorized and frequently recited and understands the meanings of it and so on. Another issue, and uh, this was reported by Muslim as well. Uh, the, the, uh, the other thing is pertaining to the devils now. The following two narrations are pertaining to protection against shaitan himself. In the book of Imam Muslim, the Prophet ﷺ said, a shaitan, the devil, runs away from the house in which the Qur'an, in which Surah Al-Baqarah is being recited. Well, the next narration, which is reported by Al-Hakim and classified as authentic by Al-Albani, the Prophet ﷺ said, he said the shaitan will not enter a house in which Surah Al-Baqarah is recited. So we got two, two narrations. The narration of Sahih Muslim is saying that he will run away from the house. And the narration of Al-Hakim is saying that he cannot come into the house. Now notice, the people of knowledge here said that this is provided that the conditions are met 
that will result in this meaning it is not merely reciting the letters right as if you're recite reading a newspaper that's not what is intended and that's not what results and realizes such benefits from surah al-baqarah you must recite it being mindful of what to recite okay one might say well i don't understand it well read the translation of it you'll understand it okay i will not remember everything from the first time who said that you got to read it only once continue to read the translation and the explanation tafsir ibn kathir for example is translated into english right so read the translation and the tafsir that's also translated you'll understand it be as keen on understanding it as anyone would be keen on obtaining a billion dollars in a week he would bend over backwards to get it bend over backwards to go to jannah as simple as that these are some of the uh, verses of surah al-baqarah uh, we summarized it in this session we will conclude with this inshallah and we we'll address another virtue or other set of virtues for another surah inshallah subhanakallahumma bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik